My name is Jeremy Poxon. I'm a campaigner and advocate with the Australian Unemployed Workers Union. And we've come here uh, this week to Canberra uh, to lobby politicians to demand an immediate raise to New Start. We come from different backgrounds, we come from all walks of life. And those that end up falling through the cracks into welfare do need a supportive society that helps them maintain a standard that keeps their dignity. New Start is almost like a disease. Your friends will say, we're going out to a party or we're going to dinner. And you have to say, sorry, I can't go. Because you just can't afford it. Because if you go to that, you don't eat for two days. Sooner or later, those invites stop coming. Those friends stop coming around. That's when the isolation begins. What Mr Morrison needs to understand is the importance of empowering the individual. I became unemployed uh, because I had a major car accident, which had a major effect on my life and I have several other medical conditions which just make it impossible for me to sustain full-time work. It's not that I can't get full-time work, I can't sustain it. I was working on the advocacy line, um, dealing with a lot of people, unfortunately, over the age of 60 that had been denied the DSP up to 18 times. They felt that the government was just waiting for them to die, and unfortunately, they have. Scott Morrison is trying to do everything he possibly can to distract from the issue of raising New Start by throwing out issues like cashless welfare cards or drug testing of income support recipients. But we're not going to be distracted. When I'm speaking to people about the cashless welfare card, the resounding message that's coming through is defeat. We're not being listened to, we're not being consulted. In fact, our voices are actually annoying. And we're still waiting to hear back from Prime Minister Scott Morrison. He doesn't want us talking about talking about New Start. He wants to redirect the conversation and he wants to blame unemployed people for their own unemployment, poor people for their own poverty, rather than deal with the sheer failure of his own government and his own government's dud policies to lift people out of poverty and to ensure work for everyone who needs it. What I'd be saying to ministers who don't think a raise to New Start is going to happen, and Rustin, Michael McCormack, Barnaby Joyce, is speak to people who are on New Start. It's people who are living this every day, people who are struggling with their hand up asking for help so that they can be a valuable member of the community. I have a BA in psychology, a Bachelor of Criminology and Criminal Justice, and I've just finished my Masters in Forensic Psychology. This is not an issue of left-wing or right-wing politics. It's an issue of poverty and whether or not that's acceptable in a country as wealthy as Australia. We're here to bring the fight for a dignified social security system directly to Canberra and directly to politicians' offices.